Welcome back to Living Free Forever. Today I want to discuss where would be a good place for someone to move to that's moving to Florida. And I got this question actually from one of our viewers. They would like to move to the west coast but upper inland away from the beaches because they were afraid of hurricanes. Also they wanted some place that's not super crowded and also a place where there are things to do for 20 year olds. So, and probably for the whole family. I thought that would be a great topic to talk about. Google Earth to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about as to where because we are all so different. All 20 year olds are not the same. Some want to be near the beaches, some want to be near bars and um, dance clubs. I'm not sure what they call them these days. Or they just might be very chill um, young 20 year olds who want to just hang out at the museums or the coffee shop. It's hard to say. So I'm just kind of doing a broad opinion, my opinion, where some good places might be. Well, I'm just going to record my computer. I know that I can do it another way, but this would probably be the easiest for me to show you. So this is Google Earth, and let's just do a search for um, Tampa Bay Area. So let's go. And so there's Florida. And I can give you some ideas. And most of you who live down here probably have your own ideas. Maybe you can comment below and let me know what you think would be a good place. Here is the Tampa Bay area. This whole area is considered Tampa Bay. A lot of folks get confused Tampa and Tampa Bay. There's Tampa, that's a city. Tampa Bay is just the whole this whole area here. I have a lot of opinions, but what I have to say may not be the answer for you. So St. Petersburg in itself here is an amazing place. Downtown St. Petersburg. I just love it. As far as the beaches go and hurricanes, it doesn't matter where you live in Florida. Those hurricanes are bigger than the state of Florida often. Flooding if you don't want to be on the coast because of flooding, that's a, that's a different story. But even then, even if you're inland, you very well could flood. You'll have to see the property that you're looking at to see exactly how high up it is um, above sea level. Because most of Florida can flood. And the laws and rules about um, insurance and flood insurance, it's changing as we speak and insurance and taxes have gone up quite a bit so you're going to want to look into that before moving or before buying anything everything from hoas property insurance property taxes flood insurance the list goes on it's a it's a little um hairy right now and you're going to want to know these things before you jump into moving to Florida and buying anything. Okay, so let's look at the Tampa Bay area. Now, if you're buying something, you should know that pretty much all houses <laughs> at this point are very expensive. So if you're watching this at the, uh, what is this, April 1st, 2023. So you're going to see a lot of changes from the time I made this video and maybe from a year from now. Between Tampa and down here, you'll find affordable homes. Riverview, Ruskin, Brandon. My fear is the sinkholes from my research. Along I-4, definitely sinkholes. A lot of sinkholes are from pipes 
that are leaking, others are just natural. And if you just look at the map and you're thinking, well, where can I live affordably? The more inland you go, usually the more affordable. It doesn't mean you're safe from hurricanes or flooding because it is Florida. A lot of the homes are built up and taxes, insurance have skyrocketed. But the East Coast, from what I've, I've heard from people who lived here that moved over here, they said just going down a block took them forever to get to a grocery store from their home. So they're like, it was just too much. And our side is very, very busy right now because it's Easter break, spring break, and snowbird season. So it's super crowded right now, more than I ever remember. If you're worried about hurricanes, don't like say, well, I'm not gonna go live near the coast because of the hurricane, because they come across and they could destroy anything and everything in its path. If it's big enough, it could be bigger than the whole state. Now, if you come down here, it sure gets busy during busy season, but it's not as busy as where we are in the Tampa Bay area, but we have maybe more, I don't know, things, I don't know what you want to say, things to do as far as like the museums, more hospitals. I know we have Tampa General Hospital. It's one of the better hospitals along with Mayo Clinic that's in Jacksonville. And the only reason I don't even mention up here is just my own personal preference because I like where it's warm all year round. Not everybody wants that. People want some change of season, you know, more than what we have here, even though it does get <laughs> cool in January, February. Got to turn on the heat a little bit. When we were in uh, Northport, we didn't have to uh, turn on the heat except for maybe one night, two nights in the whole year. Up here, we, well, we didn't really have to turn it on very much either. As far as 20 year olds, like I said, they can have fun pretty much anywhere. But where we are, because we have 20 year olds, two 20 year olds, and there's just everything that they want right here in St. Pete. Fishing, fishing's huge down here. So I don't know if your kids, 20 year olds, are interested in fishing. I'm sure some are, some aren't. Let me zoom even further. Because here's Gandy, it takes you, boom, right into, the, into, into Tampa. And boom, you're right here and you can just drive straight down and you're downtown. And the neighborhoods I like are all in this area. I just like the area actually. I mean, there's like the Sawgrass uh, Lake Park. I actually made a video but I never posted it. <laughs> but it's close to us and I like going there. It's really nice to see nature. You have parks all over Florida. And also the other thing is there's a lot of universities in this area. You have St. Petersburg College, you have University of South Florida here and in Tampa, and you have Eckerd College somewhere over here. You have other nursing schools, other universities. University of Florida I think is about three hours north of us in uh, up here. In Gainesville that's a really uh, nice quaint college town Tampa also has the zoo and we have uh, oh Clearwater has the aquarium with the dolphins and other sea life so it's it's difficult to say exactly where would be a good spot I mean there's people who live right here in Winter Haven frost proof we knew some people who lived in this area and they loved it I like living a little closer to the beach, even though I haven't seen it in a, in a few years, actually. Brandon is growing. Oh, Wesley Chapel seems to be the growing area. That might be a nice area for our viewer who was asking the question because there's a lot of new houses, more affordable maybe than where we are in the Tampa Bay area. It has uh, hospitals new hospitals, doctors. What's really cool about the Tampa Bay area too, even if you stay on the outskirts like Wesley Chapel or Lakeland or Brandon or Riverview, you could pick up the cruise ships in Tampa. You could pick up little taxis, water taxis. They have dinner cruises over here. I'm not sure about over here, but I know we have dinner cruises off of St. Petersburg. I haven't been to one of those yet. Back in Ohio we did, those are always fun, going on a 
boat cruise, dinner cruise. So there's a lot of places to go. All I gotta say is there, there's traffic everywhere along the highways. I have a lot of other videos that probably go into more depth into each specific area as far as like what's in the different cities because I covered quite a bit. But I'd have to say that it's all beautiful. <laughs> And it all depends on how much you could spend because, like I said, right now the prices are a lot. I see them coming down a little bit, but it's not enough. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Some of you are probably more in tune to what's going on um, with all that. And then here's Key West. Can you believe I still haven't been down there? My sister's been trying to get me to visit her. <laughs> I'll do that one of these days. So what do you folks think? Where do you think is the best place to live in Florida that might be somewhat affordable, maybe not in a flood zone, even though most of Florida, like I said, is kind of a flood zone. Some place where there's things to do, but maybe not overcrowded. That's like a, a trick question. <laughs> So I hope that you can find what you're looking for. If I know more about what you want, I could probably be a little bit more helpful. But I like anywhere from here to Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda is really nice too. Like I like Englewood and Cape Coral. You'll find affordable homes, but it's kind of like far off from the highway. You need to get somewhere. So if you gotta get somewhere, it takes a little while to get inland away from the beaches to get to the highway. But you see how Venice and Port Charlotte, they're near the highway, so is Northport and Sarasota. So any of those places south of Sarasota is not as crowded. And Punta Gorda is right there. See Port Charlotte? Let's see if I could zoom in a little bit more. That's Port Charlotte. You cross the bridge in Punta Gorda. And there's a place, um, there's a place that we loved eating uh, at uh, when we would go down there. It's called Dean's. So if you're ever in Punta Gorda, they make the best nachos. <laughs> we haven't had it in years now, but it was so delicious. We'd go there once in a while. So, well, I hope that helps a little bit. <laughs> Even if it's an incy pincy bit. If you have more questions, comment below. Maybe I can help answer more questions. And I'm always looking. Even though I absolutely love it here, I'm always looking because you never know. If you're not looking, you won't find out what's out there. Some of the places I would definitely check out would be Northport, two words, Northport and Port Charlotte. And if you go to Zillow and you type those in in your search for the home that you're looking for, but then remove boundaries so you could see the surrounding areas, because you might see little towns you've never heard of, like Dunedin. I never heard of it till I got here, or Tarpon Springs. I know most of you probably are like, I've heard of Tarpon Springs, but I didn't until I moved down here. Same with Nokomis, that's near um, Sarasota, very close to there, Osprey. I never heard of that until I moved down here. It's, and it's right there on the, on the coast. It's not far from beaches and it's not overly crowded compared to some other places. And it's more affordable. So check those places out, either on Zillow or some other site. And you can compare prices. Now, if you're looking to rent, there's for rent.com apartments dot com or apartment dot com I'm not sure but there's plenty out there it's just that everything is very expensive at the moment if you're not sure of a certain city you'll want to check the crime statistics all you got to do is google it type in the name of the town or city and type in crime statistics and then you'll have a feel now keep in mind it might look like it's bad but it could be because just one part of the town or city is bad but the other side there's you know very little crime it seems like every town or city has the good neighborhood and bad neighborhood so you just have to check it out I know for many of you who are coming or moving to Florida from the north it could be overwhelming so I have a lot of videos about moving to Florida if you want to look at them and maybe get some ideas from using pods or 800 pack rats 
storage containers moving what we did where we moved to the different places that we moved to what we thought I hope that can help a little bit because there's so many videos about different places and different things we did so they'll probably be more beneficial than just this video alone and then there's of course other people out there making videos and they have really great videos I noticed there are some realtors out there making videos about their area and they do a really good job covering uh, uh, their zone that they're covering so you know check them out as well oh the one thing I wanted to make sure that all of you are very aware of are the scams that are going on so maybe I'll just make another video about that but please <laughs> please do your homework read your research I'd be very leery about renting from Craigslist or buying or renting anything without seeing it in person I know that's extra money flying down here or if you have somebody to check it out for you or maybe get a realtor like Remax or somebody that's reputable make sure it's reputable not just somebody you don't know with no reviews and you don't know where they came from because there are a lot of scams and a lot of them are happening in Florida I know it's happening around the country but a lot of it's happening here because we have so many transients people coming and going and it's a little easier to do these scams I think down here and elderly a lot of elderly get taken advantage of so please triple check with somebody and check for yourself because we don't want anything to happen to you we want your transition to moving to Florida to be a good one and a happy one so well thanks for watching thumbs up please share and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next video